caused the, uh, when, when was the change in the survey and what, what impact do you see that having on the staff's recommendation or is that? We, um, early on when we met with Mr. Copeland, we, we talked about various ways to, to go through this case, um, including rezoning the whole piece. Um, and ultimately the decision was made that we thought limiting the commercial to basically where the commercial operations are taking place was, um, was the way to move forward. And so staff kind of knew this survey was coming. We just didn't have it in time to even give it out to y'all on Friday. And um, we got it in today around 11.30. I don't think that the that changing the uh, survey to a lesser zoning classification would change where staff is coming from. Because in our minds, we already kind of knew that it was going in the direction of, instead of being 12 acres of commercial, being more like five. So I don't, I don't think that would alter staff's uh, recommendation. It's just an update that... Um, we didn't get in until this afternoon or this morning. Well, two things to address that. Uh, it does appear with, if some of the, the neighbors are concerned with Crossroads Commercial is in Dina Broad, uh, and I looked at some of the uses, and, and they are very broad in their use, and I think some of the concerns are they have no problem with a, a mechanic that they don't want a package store. Mm -hmm. so, yes, I think that's a, for example. So given the survey, that appears like that would actually take away some road frontage, probably would kill a lot of that anyway, but it, what would be some options in limiting the uh, conditions, and is that, how far could we go with that as it was presented here? I agree.